Hey, it's Lauren. So today's video is all about the things that I love from Sephora. That way you can get some ideas for this upcoming Sephora sale. Um, I have to say for so many years, I was a VIB Rouge and sadly I am not anymore. I'm just VIB, but part of that I think comes back to the fact that Sephora, I feel like, has changed the structure of their rewards program quite a bit, and I don't feel like the rewards are nearly as good as they used to be. Um, obviously, with the pandemic, it's much harder to do in-store events specifically for Rouge, but they used to give out these like fabulous sample sizes of a lot of different products, but they weren't just like everything in the store. It was like more of like the luxury and goods and they don't really do that anymore. And so, and also like the, the discount prices that you get for like sales events and stuff usually are not a whole lot better than VIB anymore. So I am not Rouge anymore. Uh, maybe I'll hit it again eventually, but as of right now, it is what it is. But today's video is all about my favorite things from Sephora that I think are worth your money in the sale. If you're needing some ideas, if you're needing to fill in some holes in your kit, um, I will also be very honest and say, I don't have a ton of things right now that I'm like looking to buy for this sale. There are a few and I'll tell you about those, but let's get started. So one of the things that I have bought multiple times now is the Tom Ford Traceless Stick. I wear the shade 4.5. I've also worn the shade 4 when I'm a little bit more fair, but I love this stick so much. You can wear it as a concealer. You can sheer it out as a foundation over your whole face. You can wear it really, really full coverage, and it always looks really beautiful and luminous, and it still looks like skin. And so, like I've said, I've purchased this multiple times. Highly recommend it. Um, one of the next things that I've really, really enjoyed is the Rare Concealer, Rare Beauty Concealer has this giant doe foot and very similar to like the Tom Ford, you can get some serious coverage with this product. I also really just love how my skin looks the entire day that I have this on. Um, and I just, I love that I don't need an extra concealer with this. And actually this is more full coverage than their concealer. Now I'm gonna talk about a new line at Sephora, which I'm so excited for. And this might actually be something I will pick up some product from, and that is Danessa Myricks. So her Vision Cream Cover, similar theme with the other foundations that I have mentioned, is the fact that this is like unbelievably full coverage if you want it to be, but the way that it performs on the skin is so beautiful and you get this luminosity without being greasy. I just think that this is an incredible product. Um, she's got a pretty good shade range as well. And other products that I like from her line are the Vision Cream, or Vision Flush, sorry. And this is what I have on my cheeks today in the shade Bread and Butter. And I just think that it's such an easy formula to work with. I find that her skin products just go on impeccably. And then I also have one of the, I have two of them. I have the Color Fix um, eye creams and you can actually use these on cheeks and lips and stuff too. That's the nice thing about her line is that it's all kind of interchangeable for your face. Um, and I just think that these are so beautiful. This is a shade Ballerina and it's like this soft shimmery pink. And so this is really great for like a one and done eyeshadow look. For concealers, I really love the Dior Forever Concealer. It's got this nice, healthy doe foot. But what I love so much about this particular concealer is that it's not overly radiant. It has really, really good coverage, but the texture of it is also not super thick. And I think sometimes like fuller coverage concealers can look really thick and heavy and cakey on the skin. And that one never does. It's so beautiful. And I think that's a fantastic concealer. Their foundations are also really nice. I think the only drawback with some of the Dior stuff is the shade range can be a little lacking. And even though I'm fair, sometimes like it's kind of weird because the undertones are not quite right. So if you're lucky enough and you can find one that works, um, I highly recommend that. Another product that I have loved for a very long time for a couple of reasons is the Bare Minerals Matte. And I love this one. I have this one on today. It makes your skin look soft and velvety. It's a very lightweight, 
um, product, but the coverage is actually really good if you want it to be. And I've got like one little perioral dermatitis breakout right now. And so this is what I'm using over it because it's one of the few things that I can use that doesn't further irritate my skin. Um, and I can still get some coverage out of it as well. So I think this is a fantastic product, especially if you have texture, it doesn't emphasize it. You can actually get a little bit of coverage. Now, another new line at Sephora, and I have multiple products that we're going to talk about, is Westman Atelier. This is the Vital Stick Foundation. This is really nice. I find it to be a lighter coverage than the Tom Ford stick. I have a whole like comparison stick video that I'll link up here if you want to watch that. But um, this is a really beautiful foundation. I also have one of their blushes, the Baby Cheeks in the shade Truchette which is like this beautiful kind of peachy nude color. And I personally really love this color on me. I think it's one of those shades that would be really versatile on a lot of skin tones. They have quite a few different blushes now. I also have their Beauty Butter Bronzer. And this is really nice. I will say the texture has gotten a little like grainy and kind of weird, but it doesn't seem to translate like that on the skin, thankfully. But this is a really beautiful bronzer. Unfortunately, and I've mentioned this before, they really need to step it up on their shade ranges. They expanded their bronzers and their contour stick and stuff to a whole whopping two. <laughs> and I'm just like, it, you know, you charge enough for your products. You have the money that you can invest into expanding your shade range more than one new shade when you do. So that's like my beef with Westman Atelier. I think their products are so incredibly beautiful. I mean, if I didn't love their products, I wouldn't be dropping the fact that like I have so many of them. Um, I also think this is like such a bougie, splurgy purchase. I mean, all of Westman Atelier is, and I think that's why having that in this sale is like kind of a huge deal. Um, their lip suede is, it's just so unbelievably beautiful unbelievably beautiful and versatile. You can mix the shades. It's such a gorgeous red that stays on for a long time and you can just create so much dimension and pop. I don't normally like matte lips and that product is so special. Um, okay, so for highlighters, I like the Merit Stick. This one is the shade Kava and as you can see, it's not glittery. It's like this very soft sheen, very candle lit. It's very balmy. So like sometimes I think um, if you don't have a lot on your skin, you could swipe it directly on your skin. I have it on today. It's really, really a pretty highlighter. Um, but because of the, the texture of some of the Merit products, they're very balmy and they can end up lifting off product underneath. And I had like a whole disaster video, which I'll link up here with the um, flush balm that they have like the cheek color and it's just so balmy that like if you're not doing like a no makeup makeup and you're just like con like spot concealing if you have on actual foundation some of their products will lift up whatever you have on underneath so like my word of caution but the highlighter itself is beautiful and if you put it on your fingers and tap it on you're not going to have that problem okay kind of rounding out my skin picks i absolutely adore the huda beauty um easy bake pound cake. I, I think this is fantastic. I've talked about this before. I don't really bake my face, but I love that as like a setting powder. I actually dusted, even though I had the Bare Minerals um, matte on, I dusted a little bit of the uh, Huda on top of that because I tend to get a little more oily through this area and that really helps to kind of tone down the greasiness. I do think it's worth mentioning that product in particular is pretty heavily fragranced. I know that she's reformulated a lot of her line to where it's not so heavily fragranced anymore. Personally, I like the way that this smells. I don't mind it. Normally, I don't like super fragrant stuff on my face. This doesn't irritate my skin and I just enjoy the scent of it. So just, you know, word of caution. Um, okay, let's move into some pencil products. So this is something I actually will probably get because I really liked it. It was a sample of the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I don't know exactly what shade it is. It's probably just something in the middle of the range because they tend to send um, something out in the middle um, for samples. But this pencil is just so nice and it's not shiny. It's like very spot on with my hair color. And obviously like I just wiped it off my hand and it was pretty easy to come off, but like it didn't move at all. Like when I've worn it, it's really, really a great pencil. and. 
you know, I'm kind of like starting to like pencils again. I really didn't for a while, but I found some that I actually like. The other one of which is the Gucci brow pencil. What I like so much about this one in particular is it's got, it's really nice like the benefit, but it's got like a very powdery finish. I basically feel like this is a brow powder in pencil form. And I just, I love the way that it fills in the brows. It makes them look thicker. They're not shiny at all. Um, that's like my biggest issue with most brow pencils is that they tend to look very unnatural. <laughs> Um, but those are both fantastic brow pencils and I highly recommend them. Um, as for liquid eyeliner, I have on the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes um, Matte Liner. What's interesting about this one is that I feel like over time it actually has become more of a matte formula because when I first got it, it seemed not flat matte and that's kind of like what they advertised it as. I think it's also kind of worth noting that this pen is pretty thick. It tapers to a really fine point, but I know some people didn't really like how thick this was. Personally, I find it incredibly easy to work with. You can really just lay it down on the lash line. You get that really soft tapered effect, and you can also really use that tip to create a really fine wing as well. So I love this. Um, I would recommend this. I know not everybody would love this, but if you're in the market for a new liquid liner, I think that's a fantastic one. Um, let's talk about a lip liner that I've really fallen in love with. Um, that would be the Lancome Bronzel. And this color is like the most beautiful kind of pinky brown. It's, I think everybody right now, it seems like really wants, um, brown lip liners. And I couldn't find one, one day. <laughs> they were sold out everywhere. And this was like one of the only things left in stock, but it was really close to like what I was wanting. And I have loved this shade. I think that it really creates a great canvas for anything you put on top of it. And it really just kind of enhances your lip shape. Like it's really a nice, nice pencil. The other thing from Lancome that I really, really love is the Lancome Lash Adol Mascara, which is what I have on today. I've also done a review of this previously. Um, this mascara is one of the few from Lancome that doesn't smudge on me like much. I mean, it, maybe like there's like a tiny, tiny transfer by the very end of the day. But this mascara is really, really great. I love the shape of this. I love the way that this hugs the lashes. It's a silicone wand and it just makes your lashes look really pretty. I think that it's a really solid mascara. Um, I've really enjoyed this. I think it's repurchase worthy. Um, I don't know if I will right away because I kind of like test out so many new things all the time, but I do love that mascara and I think it's beautiful. Now I'm going to talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I love this one. This is actually what I have on today. And the texture of these is really unique in the sense that it like mimics your lip texture. So if you like slightly overline your lips, it doesn't look weird. Um, I think that this is an awesome, awesome pencil. Definitely repurchase worthy in my opinion. I love this color on my lips. It's kind of my lips enhanced, which is great. Um, and the formula is like pretty, pretty long wearing, which is also really nice. Also from Charlotte Tilbury is her palette. I have the Golden Goddess palette. What I love so much about these in particular is that it's a very small curated palette. The colors themselves are really, really beautiful. Um, the only shade that I don't have on today is this kind of like glitter topper. If you're looking for like a highly glitter, like chunky palette, it's just, you're not going to find it here, but it's very, very beautiful and subtle if you're looking for that. I personally like a smaller curated palette. I don't like big palettes. I think that when you pass the like nine to 12 pan range, it starts kind of losing the vision of the color story and, or you end up having a lot of colors that are so similar that they don't look any different on the eye. So personally, I don't like giant palettes. I think that they are stressful to work with. Um, I much prefer a smaller palette, usually less than 12 pans. Less than that is preferable. <laughs> That's just me. Um, on the larger side of palettes, one that I have loved for a really long time is the Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. I just think that this palette is so, so beautiful. It's easy to wear. 
The colors are beautiful. The color story, I think, even is great with this. Like, they all have, like, a... They don't even all have it. They Like, most of them have, like, kind of that rosy undertone. But then you get some balance with the grays. You have kind of some purpley tones. I love how this palette was created. And I think there's a couple other palettes that they have launched that also kind of fit with that. Um, I personally am not... I, I like the Amethyst palette because it's purple and it's beautiful, but I feel like that palette in particular could have had more differentiation between the shades. Um, but I think the Rose Quartz palette is like, like, it's beautifully done. I love wearing this palette. There's enough options and versatility that I can shift from day to night if I wanted to. It's kind of a great palette. Like if you're going to go out of town and you need to just pack something and you don't want to have a million things in your bag, that's a great palette. Um, my last couple of things, we're going to round up this review. So I love the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade Rosewood. I think it is like a your lip but better kind of color. It makes your lips a little more plump and full. It's not painful. You definitely feel some tingling and things happening, but it's not painful to use. Um, I personally am a huge, huge fan of this formula. I've had other Dior lip glosses in the past, which I've also really loved. They weren't the lip maximizer formula, but they're also really, really lovely. Um, currently on my lips is the Patrick Ta. I think it's a, she's an influencer gloss. It's like this pink with a little bit of a pearl. So it kind of like amplifies your lips a little bit more. I really, really like this formula. It has like a, it's like a, makes me think of like a mint chocolate kind of scent. Um, it's a little bit different. It's, I've smelled something similar to it before. Um, I really, really love this gloss. I think it's really great. Rounding out, I love the Merit brush. I love this because you can use it with liquids and creams. It's, I mean, their product is a cream, but what I also love is how it applies powder. Um, that was kind of a surprise. I just decided to try it one day. I was like, it's kind of this like teddy bear brush and I feel like it would pick up powder well and it's it applies powder beautifully. So huge fan of this. I also like the size and shape of this one. Um, the only thing I can say is like when you wash it, I feel like it takes a longer time to dry than some of my other brushes. But that's not like a huge deal, but I do think it's like noteworthy. Um, for skincare, I don't really have anything. Um, like facial skincare, I don't really have anything from Sephora that I'm using right now. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what that says, but... Um, so this is a review that I haven't done yet. I'm currently still testing some of these products. But if you were in the market for hair care, I think Virtue is pretty amazing. I am someone who is really difficult to impress with dry shampoo. Um, re, I hate most of them. Like they feel powdery and gross. This one is like kind of not like that. I feel like it makes your hair feel clean. You get a little bit of volume and texture and grip. It smells amazing. It's like very clean smelling. It's not citrusy. It just has like a really nice smell. It doesn't leave that powdery feeling all over your hands. It doesn't leave your hair looking overly matte. It gives it some nice volume. I don't know. I think that this might replace dry bar as like my favorite dry shampoo. I just really, really love it. The other things that I've tried from their line that I've really been impressed with were the mask. Um, and I'm using their shampoo and conditioner. I'm currently using the recovery one. They sent me um, like a whole, like a whole like stylist kit. Um, and so I, I, you know, I'm kind of, slowly testing it all out. Um, but the dry shampoo I think is amazing and the mask and I think any of the shampoo and conditioners targeted for your hair, I think you'd be really happy with. Um, something else that I really want to get from the sale, and this is just kind of like silly, but I also think it would help me is a full size of the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Um, I think this smells incredible. And this stuff, like I'm so bad with body care. <laughs> it's like so neglected. That's so stupid. Um, but I love, first of all, I love the way that this smells and this stuff also the way that it moisturizes, like leaves you feeling so hydrated and silky soft the entire day. And I feel like a lot of lotions that I've used, they don't keep me feeling moisturized. Like, I, I don't know. I think it's just my skin tends to get a little bit drier sometimes. And 
this really, it feels amazing. It smells amazing. And it's kind of like a expensive body care purchase, but like I need to start doing a better job taking care of my skin all over my body. And I feel like this is something that would really encourage me to do it because I'd actually be excited to do it. <laughs> so that's my like Sephora rundown of everything that I think is worth your money. Um, there's, you know, like I said, a couple of things that I'm interested in purchasing. I don't have like some big shopping list, but there are a few things I will get when my VIB sale days open up. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that it was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps other people find my channel and I can continue bringing you this kind of content. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.